Hope I'm audible to you. I'm visible to you. Am I audible? Am I visible? Are you facing any difficulty in this message? Can you just message me? Able to hear me? Am I visible? Are you facing any uh, difficulties? So that we can start. So this is a detailed section, or we are going to analyze the entire structure of question paper. So this is a detailed analysis of UPSC CSE prelims 2020, Environment and Ecology. And I am Riyamol Biju here. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for updates and notification about me. Riyamol Biju have completed my Masters in English and I'm a research scholar. I have experience as a career counsellor, more than three years of teaching experience. And you can follow me. Telegram for the latest updates and notifications and this is my an academy profile link where you can search my name and you can follow me what do you get get daily live classes live testers and quizzes structured course unlimited access and the comprehensive syllabus what we offer is Quality and governance, history, current affairs, geography, optional courses, economy, science and technology. Practice, strategy, NCRT, summary, art and culture, writing courses. And so subscription plans like one month, three month, month and 12 month. You can get any of the subscription. Here go plan to like the price. So this is my user code and you get a discount of 10% each. So in this section, Environment plus ecology. I've added agricultural questions from agricultural too. So don't worry about it. We'll be discussing nearly 22 questions total. I have added agriculture along with the environment and ecology portions. You can actually add it or can it anyway it belongs to the yes paper 3. So that's why. And how was the examination? How was your exam? Agriculture portions can be calculated in both the with environment and ecology, also with economics. But I have chosen so that I thought we get more idea about it. Yes, I know we haven't discussed. I haven't taken agriculture for you, right? But I have discussed with you current affairs. And how was the section overall? What is your analysis? So we'll go through the questions in detail. Before that, I just want to know how was it? I think from the most expected series of mine, from both the app and the section, you got nearly 25 questions, right? And it's especially environment and ecology we have discussed, got all the questions. Here in this section, the question analyzes. We I have added agricultural and one question from biology too. So you don't want to separate it. That's why issues will go to it. Detailed answer key. And if you have any doubt in between, you can just message me.
no problem it was a bit technical not only for one person or two person the overall the question when you analyze every question you know it was tough totally it was a tough paper moderately tough that is that is what i analyzed and when you go to the entire question paper it is there's a probably that probability that the cutoff may come down to uh, 80 to 95 or up to 100 means can expect of uh, from 90 to uh, 95 to 100 in between or between 80 and 90 the, uh, so that is the range of the cutoff you can expect so don't worry about it hi do i teach optional papers of course i teach optional paper but i teach upon english not another subjects no issues will be going so we'll move to the sections and we'll be having a detail analyze in between you can ask me questions no issue any doubt will be clarifying it i told you no you get questions i think from my most expected series you got uh, nearly 25 questions in directly you will be discussing it uh, we'll have a separate section for that but we'll go through the section i added agricultural so i'm repeating that's why you got yeah we are going to discussing 22 questions no problem which of the following statements are correct regarding the general difference between plant and animal cells plant cells have cellulose cell wall wall will list animal cells do not plant cells do not have plasma membrane unlike animal cells which do mature plants have one large vacuole whilst animal cell has many small vacuoles select the correct answer using the code given below this is a easy question directly from ncrt the question is directly from ncrt biology so there is no tough in this question and it's an easy question we'll see how each question you have to answer if you're not getting answer what you have to do how to uh, eliminate the things so we'll be discussing it in detail right now so what is the answer for this question the answer for this question is C, 1 and 3. Plants have cellulose cell walls, while animal cells do not. Obviously, the first option is true and the third option is true, whereas this is wrong. Because plants, where, where does plants get their food? Plants get their food through See, plants have plasma membrane but plants also have chloroplast plants have chloroplast plants do have chloroplast in detail whereas animals does not have chloroplast but have mitochondria so what is it how you get a uh, food plants get their food through photosynthesis as well as animal get their food from what they eat so plant cells have mitochondrion part whereas animal cell have uh, plant cells have chloroplast part addition to the micro mitochondrial part of plasma membrane whereas animal cell does not have a plasma membrane or a chloroplast so we'll see uh, in detail okay that's better right so this is plant cell this is animal cell this is mitochondria mitochondria here cell membrane is the plasma membrane nucleus nucleolus vacuole cytoplasm cytoplasm chloroplast so plants only have chloroplast animals does not have chloroplast so this is a structure we'll see what is it so the answer is c so both plant cell and animal cells what are they they are eukaryotic cells and so they have many functions in common only plant cell have chloroplast 
we'll see this is all about animal cell plant cell what is present what is not present we are going to discuss in uh, detail so cell wall is absent cell wall when you compare it to animal cell this does not have cell wall whereas in plant cell cell wall is present animal cell is round irregular in shape whereas plant cell is rectangular in shape animals have vacuole one or more vacuoles will be there only one vacuole is present in a plant cell which carry 90% of the cell volume uh, cell wall is present in all animals only present in lower part forms so that is chlamydomins chloroplast is absent in animal cell whereas chloroplast is present in plant cell cytoplasm is present both cells ribosomes are also present mitochondria is plus, uh, present plastids are present endoplasmic reticulum is also present in both of the cells then perisomes so what about perisomes perisomes are present in animal cell whereas perisomes are present both in cells golgi apparatus are present plasma membrane only cell membrane only a cell membrane is present in the animal cell you cannot calculate so cell wall and a cell membrane is present microtubules or microfilaments are present in both of them flagella in something in some cells of animals it have but present in some cells lysosomes occur in cytoplasm this in plant cell lysosomes are not evident nucleus is present in both cells zelia is present most plant cell do not contain zelia so this is optional like most plants does not contain zelia so this is a difference between an animal cell and a plant cell structure and crt direct question so the question level is easy very easy to answer algae test direct question So hope you are clear with it. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So I mixed it. Okay. I had taken a question from biology. I know I haven't uh, discussed biology and all, but I have discussed uh, ecology and environment with you in detail, so we get an answer. Which of the following are reasons or factors for exposure to benzene pollution? What first option is automobile exhaustion, tobacco smoking, wood burning, using varnish, wooden furniture, using products made up of polyurethane. So this is our question. What is the level of question? This is a direct question, directly asked from Hindu. But the problem is, this was a current affairs in 2018 current affairs. It was a part of 2018 current affairs and it is asked in 2020. So how to answer this question? Directly if you know the answer, you can very easily, you can go to it. Or what you have to do is, go for what? Optionals means, what do you do? You don't know the thing. You don't know what is benzene and how to answer it. Simple, quanta. Going through optional, you can answer it. How to answer it through optional will be seen like what is it? Benzene pollution, automobile extent. So, option C. One is commonly present in option A, C, and D. So, you can go, you can choose that. One is there. From, it's evident that 2 is also common. So, you can go for 2. Then we doubt with 3. 3 is also common. So, we I want to check whether 4 and 5 is there. Using varnish, wooden furniture, using products made up of polyurethane. So, the answer is D. If you don't know the answer, what to do? In, uh, in, in such type of questions, no? Usually all the things what is given will be coming because this is like a direct question. Means a constant statement. 
which is directly proven. So if something is like that answer, you don't know the answer, at least next time you can go for all the things are right. So this is the answer. What is benzene? Benzene is C6H6, a molecule, the formula. And it is an organic compound with molecular formula C6H6. Uh, what is it? Benzene is actually a colorless and uh, or a, uh, sometimes a light yellow color in the room temperature which is of sweet order and it is highly flammable. Benzene will evaporate quickly in the air. It vaporizes heavier than air and may sink into low lying areas. Benzene is found and how it is used? Benzene is, uh, you can acquire it both natural and human uh, activities. Where you get uh, the natural sources like volcanoes, forest fire, etc. You get a benzene. Benzene is also part of crude oil, gasoline and cigarette smoke. Artificial. It is widely used in United States and it ranks top 20 chemicals for the production volume. And some industries use benzene as make other chemicals that are used with plastics, resins, nylon and synthetic fibers. See why you people faced the questions. As tough because everything was from current affairs, mostly everything was discussed in Hindu or down to earth or something. But problem was they asked from 2018 onwards. When you analyze the question paper, you get it from 2018 to 2020. That is two years current affairs has been asked. That is why most of the people have faced it figure level. And optional are a bit confusing because most, most of the time you have to go like. 50-50 chances you have to take and that's it don't worry but the cutoff will come down it was not only for you for everybody it was tough not for a single person but for every person so this is something we def uh, discussed in the current affairs section like monthly current affairs section we have discussed it and what are the immediate causes, symptoms of benzene? Drowsiness, dullness, rapid irregular heartbeat, heart attack, tumor. So what, once it is going to the body or once you are inhaling it, there is a chance of getting kidney failure, lung problem and tumor. You are, when you are exposed to benzene, what happens? You are facing many drowsiness, dizziness, rapid or irregular heartbeat, head ache, uh, head aches. Tumors, confusion, dizziness. What happened when you are eating it, like vomiting, irritation of stomach, dizziness, sleepiness, convulsion, rapid or irregular have heard with death rate. So this is what is to get it. So this is it. And one more important thing, I'm repeating you. Always try to refer, uh, revise the previous year question papers. When you analyze the question paper. 2018-2019 areas has been repeated. See, you always have to remember why this like nearly 22 questions or 25 questions all around including the agriculture has been there because this paper along with you forestry people Indian Forest Service people are also writing. So that is why you always have always get a weightage for this. Fine, at least this time, yeah, you are writing the next examination. Therefore, 20, uh, 2017, 18, and 19 question, immediate questions. Analyze it, you get areas from it. And study it, concentrate it. This is how the UPSC is asking right now. How benzene works. So, when, while, you're when, while you're inhaling it, benzene will affect your cells. And once it has affected your cells, can get anemia because the, for example this is an example which is being given in case bone marrow is not producing enough red blood cells what it did can lead to anemia and it affect the immune body system so this is the answer move to the next topic fertigation or in agriculture so what is fertigation in agriculture controlling the alkalinity of irrigation water is uh, possible Efficient application of rock, phosphate and all other phos uh, phosphatic uh, fertilizers is possible. 
increased availability of nutrients plants is possible reduction in leaching of chemical nutrients is possible select the correct answer using the given code below what are the advantages of fertigation in agriculture this is a question at least you can try to answer it right now no problem you don't know the answer but you can write it let me tell since all is the what is all all is a general statement what is elimination rule you have to eliminate the general statement with all so obviously we can cut this statement to do uh, this is how you have to go to the answer see we'll be discussing what is fertigation in detail but you don't know the answer i'm telling you repeating you you are don't know something what you have to do is you have to avoid the general statement so general statements coming like all only some sometimes all these things are known as general statements avoid it because upsc always ask for your specific answer not for a general answer what was will we do we are eliminating this sentence see i am telling you the method might be knowing the answer what is fatigation but if you don't know how to do it that also we want to write am i clear because am i going fast don't worry i'll be slowing down right now i won't be hurrying up you want to make it understand and want to know how to do it so what you do is you will be eliminating the all statements since all statements are deleted you can directly eliminate it simple funda sorry won't eliminate c you always you get always get is answer is like you can eliminate this you can go for c and d See, always you remember at least in the next time you are facing uh, you don't know what is it what you have to write it simple funda is by avoiding the general statement only one thing you have to do statement you don't know anything you know that the second statement is a general statement you op what you do you purposefully deleted the general statement directly you get the answer c that is the answer see i am discussing how you are not getting it uh, uh, if you don't know the answer how to get it how to get through that apply this technique elimination the technique of elimination at least next time technique of elimination get the answer answer is c simple humble funda you don't want to know the content so we are discussing in such a way that how to apply it the knowledge we'll see what is fertigation simple was the thing answer is c what is fertigation fertigation means injection of fertilizers for soil amendments water amendments and other water soluble products into an irrigation system i have taken time for this question but any more if this type of question with general statement avoid it eliminate it definitely you can go to the answer okay so what are the advantages of fertigation what do you mean by fertigation at all fertigation means injection of fertilizers which is for soil amendments water amendments and other soluble products into in an irrigation system injection of fertilizers is known as fertigation the uh, simply meaning a technique for you are using injecting of chemicals into irrigation system the two uh, terms are used for interchangeably means fertigation and chemication can be used interchangeably but mainly it is simple like injecting of fertilizers which for soil amendments water amendments and other water soluble products into an irrigation system so this is a possibility for you using it as irrigation thing answer is c we'll see what is the advantages of fertigation increased absorption of plants it, it can increase the abs uh, nutrient absorption by plants also you get accurate placement of nutrient where the water goes the nutrient goes as well ability to microdose feeding the plants just enough so nutrients can be absorbed and are 
not left to be washed down the storm water next time it rains reduction of fertilizers chemicals and water needed reduced leaching of chemicals into water supply so this is another advantage that is can increase the nutrient absorption of plants also once you are going into it water goes the nutrients goes well you can also feed the plants enough uh, so nutrients can be absorbed and not left to be washed down to strong water next time it rains reduction of fertilizers chemicals and water needed reduce the leaching of chemicals into water supply you can reduce the leaching uh, leaching of chemicals into the water supply application of nutrients can be controlled at a precise time and rate in minimize the risk of roots contracting soil brown diseases through contaminated drip and also helping drip system what are the disadvantages of fertigation concentration of solution may decrease like when fertilizers are uh, dissolved what happen the concentration in the filler in the fertilizers will be thicker and it may lead to poor nutrient placement so poor chance of getting poor nutrients on treatment and water supply of fertigation is to be kept separate from domestic water supply to avoid contamination so it can leads to contamination of water because this is a technique where water is being involved right now got it it we'll move to the next question with reference to desert national park this is a question we discussed in the most expected series from environment and ecology what about the previous question i told you i haven't discussed something related to agriculture but in this section i have added agriculture too so this is a question what we discussed and you can see directly asked out of 35 question what we discussed from the environment you get nearly 15 questions that's a big deal right the reference to india's desert national park so the following statements are correct it is spread over two districts there is no human habitation inside the park third is it is one of the natural habitats of great indian bustard select the correct answer using code given below option a 1 and 2 option b 2 and 3 only c 1 and 3 and d 1 Three. So, what this is answer? How to identify this question? How to identify this question? You don't know something. You don't know the answer of this question, but you can answer it. How? Simple by technique of elimination. Applying your logic. everything you can't by heart we actually discussed every point related to it so those who watched it those who attended section it might have a simple question for them a direct question and this is a medium level question not a tough question to crack at all medium level not a tough question so with a reference to india's desert national park spread out to district there is no human hab uh, habitation inside the park so if you don't know the first thing and the third thing what you can do is what is about the second statement correct or not yes of course in a national park there is the probability there is a, there is no probability of people living inside a national park is it a probability no never in a place know that in the national park won't be living simply you can avoid the second statement so when you are avoiding the second statement to get 1 and 2 option a can be cut out option b can be cut out option d can be cut out so option will be c 1 and 3 this is all a medium level question see you can actually apply the technique of elimination here this is all logically you have to think you really this question paper one of full of logics applying your logic you get the answer with the reference to Yes, the third national park. Which of the following statements are correct? This was a question. 
spread over the uh, two district you don't know about anything you are a person without knowing what is it but how can you there is no human habitation inside the park so when you go through it you understand that yes of course there won't be a human habitation in a national park that's for fine it's a common thing what do you know what we do eliminate it without the option 2 so when we cut off the 2 that option a is cut off completely option b is completely cut off option c is there and option this is how you have to reach the answer simple humble method try to use it at least for your next examination and this is the uh, thing so we have discussed it in a detail way so we'll go through the details Yeah, I'm good, Meher. How was your examination? Right. Got the method of elimination. Have to remember this is the how you can answer any UPSC question. You don't want just get an idea. You can answer it. So this was a simple question. You answer it. Medium level question. Fine. So we'll see. This is National Desert Park. What is it? It is in Rajasthan. The National Desert Park is in Rajasthan, and it is one of the natural habitat of Indian bustard. Where is Indian? Okay, fine. Your attempt to ask in this year. Problem. We'll discuss the answer key. It will be helpful for you. So, Desert National Park. So, where is it situated? It is in Rajasthan, and it's a state bird of Rajasthan. Indian bustard is a state bird of Rajasthan, and we also discuss what is Project Godwan. The Project Godwan of Rajasthan. We discussed it. We have already gone through this question in the section expected section. We got it. It is situated in the West Indian state of Rajasthan near towns of Jaisalmer and Barmer. So it is spread across two states, and it is one of the greatest or big national park covering an area of three thousand one hundred sixty-two kilometer. The Desert National Park is an excellent example of ecosystem. Star deserts, sand dunes from the around twenty percent of the park. The major landform consists of craggy rocks and compound satellite. Bottoms. Uh, in so uh, the it it got a number of birds like eagles, herons, falcons, lizards, kestrel, vultures, etc. So this is all it. What is Indian great bustard? This is one of the thing is found in India, Indian subcontinent. It is in a critically endangered this IUCN red list appendix one of sites schedule one of Indian Wildlife Protection Act. And this was an expected question. We discussed it. We got it right. So don't miss the current affairs classes. It will be helpful for you. Direct question. I know those also have attended uh, the section. No, about the most expected environment is it? It was might be a like a bumper. Those fifteen question from thirty five. Not a bad deal. And we are going to in the following tiger reserves. Which one has the largest area under critical tiger habitat? Question was from fourth cycle of tiger survey. We discussed it, but we already gone through it, and we got the question direct question from the short short question, right? And from the most expected series. Question from the most expected series. That's fine. So we'll go through it. What is the answer? Answer is C. Nagarjuna Sagar Tree Asylum. This is a directly based from a direct question because it was an expected question this time. We'll see more about it. What do you mean by critical tiger habitat? Have you heard it? This is coming under Wildlife Protection Act of 
Wildlife Protection Act 1972 describes about critical tiger habitat. So, Nagarjuna Sagar Sri Shalom Tiger Reserve. Sir. What is it? It is one of the largest tiger reserve centers in India. Uh, it is actually present in Kurnool district, Prakaram district, uh, Gunto district, Nagalkonda district, Mubangar district. And one more thing, or thing important, can I uh, let me tell you? So if you are finding this answer key where we will be discussing some of the national parks if you, some national parks are being discussed in an answer key in a question paper like in 2017 or 2018 let it be 2000 study that options because next year there is a probability to get the that option as a question this is how the trend of UPSC goes this is a bit tough level question because you have to know the direct thing, no elimination or nothing. Tough question. In category, it's a tough question. So we'll see what is Corbett National Park. What is this Corbett National Park? Where is Corbett National Park located? Where is Corbett National Park located? You can tell me. Jim Corbett National Park is in Uttarakhand. This is something. King Jim Corbett National Park is one of the oldest national park in India, which was here in 1963. And it was established as Haley National Park. Later, it was changed to Jim Corbett National Park. It is one of the Tiger Reserve Center. It is presently under Uttarakhand and it is nearest to cities Ramnakar. Corbett National Park is in Uttarakhand. It is basically a Nainital district of Uttarakhand. Okay. What is it famous for? Something is there. What is it? Find. Everything you can't discuss. Uh, so, this is like a uh, dense, deciduous forest. Sal, Sal. It's like Sal, people, Rohani, and mango trees. So, what is Ratanpur? Ratanpur National Park. Where is it located? Ratanpur National Park in Rajasthan. Where is Nakarjuna Sagar Sri Sailam? We already gone through it. This is in Kurnool district. Kuntur, Andhra Pradesh. Fine. Where is Sundarban National Park located? Which state? Sundarban is in West Bengal. West Bengal. This is in uh, Andhra. Rajasthan. And Uttra Front. This is uh, Sundarban was established in 1984. And it is some one of the Ramsar site. And is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I know just sim instead of simply telling answers, I'm explaining this because you can expect this probable areas next your question paper. That's all you want to know. So We'll see what is 
we see what is nagarjuna sagar talam reserve also what is core or critical tiger habitat it is like an immediate area or a buffer zone like something like a core area and this is the report from tiger reserve you can expect in this in mains also about the four cycle of tiger report like 70% of the world tiger population lies in india and an estimated to nine seven tigers it has recorded 33% increase in tiger number from 2014 to 2018 madhya pradesh has highest number of tiger closely followed by karnataka and uttarakhand chatisgarh and mizoram so a decline in tiger population all other states are positive increase so this is a report for cycle and this question is from four cycle that's why i have given it i have already gone through it before also no problem huh? if a particular plant species is placed under schedule 6 of the wildlife protection act 1972 what is its implication a license is required to cultivate that plant such a plant cannot be cultivated under any circumstances it is genetically modified crop plant such a plant is invasive and harmful to the ecosystem so how you answer it this is a tough question this is a direct question but you can you can try to eliminate it how like genetically modified crops were not in 1970 at that time it was not that popular <coughs> excuse me schedule 6th of wildlife protection act right it is a genetically modified crop plant that time it was not that popular you can go for eliminate since any is the it's a general circumstance general statement what you have studied a general statement can be awarded so uh, the probability is a and d from a and d you have to go and what you know the thing you can directly answer it if not you have to take a chance since the word such as also there you can eliminate this also the answer is see i am telling you how to avoid general statements upsc always go for specifics avoid general statements you can use this in next time examination you don't know things like only all such sometimes any all these things are general statement you can just avoid it uh, so how i got us how i'll i'll explain the method the method is more important because this is a tough question but you can make it easy you can go for a logical thinking when in this like a license is required to cultivate that plant such a plant cannot be cultivated under any circumstances such and any is there you can just eliminate because this is a general statement and such plant is invasive you can also eliminate it when what about genetically modified crop plant you can doubt it and see 1970 this you can take a chance and you can say yeah it won't be there at that time point time then it was not that popular you just avoid it you might be having a doubt whether it is amended or not but usually what is the uh, method of upsc is they won't be asking such a confusion level questions okay so we are uh, planning for such a thing and we eliminated it and answer is a here is a method to do it how i reached the answer the easiest simplest tracks you can use it next time so a is the answer so we are going to discuss while life protection act of 1972 and its implication i hope how to answer it go down the thing also you can answer it by logics
Sixth the schedule is defining the endemic plants which are prohibited from circulating and planting. Hunting of enforcement authorities have power under this schedule. So because they find, they are finding. They are like specific endemic plants. You need a separate what license you want to you want to cultivate you get a license that is a fund of uh, schedule 6 of the constitution so schedule 6 uh, and which are the plants like badamos cacat duanda with lady slipper orchids pitcher plant red wanda so these are the blue wanda red wanda uh, pitcher plant and lady slipper orchid with uh, blue wanda badamos cacat hey okay, guys so i'm not that good in pronouncing especially when it comes to this plant screen and all so bear with me uh, so this is the thing and we'll discuss the next schedule so uh, 1972 act has six schedules and we'll see what is the first schedule first and schedule provide absolute protection so if you are violating any of this you have to pay high penalty like schedule three and four you it's protected but have to pay less penalty when it comes to six it is completely prohibited from cultivation and planting and you need a license required to cultivate that plant option is a there is a problem but you might be confusing okay such a plant can be cultivated under any circumstance it can be cultivated but you need a license What is or are the advantages or disadvantages of zero tillage? What is a zero tillage? I told you I have included uh, agriculture also with environment and ecology. That's why we are discussing it. So what are the advantages and disadvantages? Go through the question. The answer is what? Sowing of possible without burning the residue of previous crop without the need of snow rice uh, sapling. Direct planting of paddy seeds in west soil is possible. Carbon sequestration is, uh, in soil is possible. So select correct answer using the code given by option A1 and 2 only. Option B2 and 3 and C3 only. D one, two, and three. What is your answer? What is the general rule? If such type of questions are given and you don't know the answer, directly you can go if all the options are given. It's all direct statements. When you are getting a direct statement, you can, it's specific, you can always go for the option which gives one, which mentions one, two, and three, and the option is here the answer is. 1, 2, and 3. What is the question level? Medium. Medium tough. Moderate level question. A, a tough question to answer. The medium, moderate level. First stage is, of course, one uh, sowing of wheat is possible without burning the residue of the previous crop. Without the end for necessary of rice sapling, direct planting of paddy, Wet soil is possible. Carbon sequestration soil is possible. So this is answer is D1, 2 and 3. What is tillage? Tillage is a practice of preparation of land through mechanical agitation which includes digging, stirring and overturning. So tillage is a process where crop seed will be sown through drillers without prior land preparation. So what is zero tillage? You won't be cultivating or you won't be preparing the land directly but sudden all of a sudden you are doing a cultivation that is known as tillage tillage always reduces the cost of cultivation and also reduce soil erosion zero tillage is also called non tillage or nil tillage you get a clue from the previous year question paper what are the advantages of zero tillage reduction in the crop 
and thereby early cropping and can be obtained to higher yield. Also, reduction in the cost of inputs so for land preparation and therefore a saving of around 80 percentage. Residual moisture can be effectively utilized and number of irrigation can be reduced. Dry matter and organic matter get added to the soil. Environmentally, <coughs> safe greenhouse gas will affect reduce the no tillage reduces the compact of soil, reduce the water loss by runoff and prevent soil erosion. As the soil is intact and no disturbance is done, no till lands have more useful flora and fauna. Previous, get this hint from the previous year UPSC question. Hope you are clear with it. What is the advantage of zero tillage? Like reduce it, uh, reduce the crop duration means reduction in crop duration. You get higher yields. Also, cost of what production is less. You can use number of irrigation uh, techniques can be reduced. Dry matter and organic matter is always added to the soil, and it's also something very environmentally safe. Like it can reduce the greenhouse gas because carbon sequestration is being practiced here. Carbon sequestration. This is it. Move to the eighth question of the day. According to India's national policy on biofuel, this is directly expected question, and we discussed it. Which of the following can be used as raw material for production of biofuels? Cassava, demand wheat grains, groundnut seeds, post gram, rotten potatoes, sugar beet. So, question world was the source of question. Hindu statement directly paper in the most expected series where I have given same points from Hindu, right? The Academy app, we discussed it. And also in the most expected series. This was an expected question, we got it. So, what is national biopolicy of bio, uh, on biofuels? It was a policy which was started in 2018 and now it is going to be implemented. That is why it was being in news. That is why we asked it. What is the option? Option A, cassava is, yes, it's possible. Damaged feed grains is a possible. What about groundnut seeds? It's something edible. So, national bio policy is telling that which is used and decaying products can be used. Not only that, it should not affect the what? The food culture of a country. It should not affect the food culture. Cassava is a residual, so it may be used. Damaged weed grains. Since it is damaged, it can be used. What about groundnut and hose gram? Simply, you can eliminate it. So, what is the crust of the national bio policy? National bio policy is telling that. Simply, you can imagine, okay. If you don't have the food, enough food, and you are using it for biofuel production, what about the condition of our people? It will be in danger. And you don't want to go such things and all. Uh, I have given you the same sentence statements from Hindu directly. And if you have gone through it, it, was, it would have been very easy. Or else also you can apply it. Simple logic. Groundnut hose gram, that is we. And it is mentioned something, according to the national bio policy, you can use something which is decayed. Okay. Otherwise, it's not possible to use. Because it should not affect your food ecosystem. Previously, option one, one is the, two is the, three and four, since we are eating it, we have to eliminate it. Eliminated three, since we eliminated three, you can directly eliminate E, E, G and you can opt for okay, one, two, three, five and six. Simple fun down. See, always think while before you answer it. Because no. Always it will be fun. You can actually eliminate things. There is no 50 50 chance also because groundnut is something eat. So we eliminate it. We should not balance it. Think, okay, logical thinking will help you to answer the questions. But this is something a direct question directly from Hindu. Sentence was we was were from Hindu. Because it also, I'm telling for those who haven't known it, you can apply this also. 
logical funda. We discuss what is national bio policy for on tamil food, rotten rice and rotten potatoes. Statement this is directly from it. I have given the statement also. Told you to repeat it, study it. Discussing the answer, taking time, that's why. No problem. That's this national bio policy, which is uh, 2018. According to this policy, this is launched by Ministry of uh, New and Renewable Energy. It's, it states that you have to blend 20% of ethanol and 5% of biodiesel. Three generations we discussed. And ethanol production by allowing sugar cane juice, sugar containing minerals like sugar beet, uh, sweet sorghum, starch containing minerals like uh, corn, cassava, damaged food pulp. We drop in rices and rotten potatoes. So answer is which one of the following statement best describe the term social cost of this is confusing and you can consider this as a tough question or media level tough this is a tough question okay tough question was the tough question so first is social cost of carbon what is this social cost of carbon confused This is carbon sequence. <laughs> the other way around, social cost of carbon. This you can just a uh, carbon sequence. You you want to pay some amount while you are being used. How to use it? Like we are using it. Uh, if our carbon carbon production is there, we have to pay a fine. You have to pay. A Penalty, we discussed it with carbon sequestering and all. So, that is what is social cost of carbon. Using more carbon, you have to make more money. That is it. It is a measure in monetary value of the uh, long term damage caused by ton, a ton of CO2 emissions in a given year. The first option is correct. So, what is the source? The source also, I am telling, describing where they have asked the question down to earth. Those was down to earth. It is a measure in a monetary value. The next things you don't want to do, go and can eliminate it. We see what is social cost of carbon. Emission costing of Indian economy, that is, you have to pay at least $10 billion. Means your, uh, your country is producing more carbon, you have to pay a fine. That's all. That is our main thing. What is the use of it? You are reducing the greenhouse gas effect. In order to reduce the greenhouse gas effect, this method has been taken. So, social cost of carbon. Done. Go to the next question. With reference to solar water pumps, consider the following statement. This question also we have discussed. Where? In a Yojana, in a scheme. What is the scheme? Kim Kuzum. And other scheme also we discussed along with this is Adal Solar, Adal Solar Yochana. Something what we discussed. Okay. So we discussed in schemes, uh, this plant Adal Solar Yochana of Maharashtra. We discussed PM Kusum in detailed scheme section. So where we, where I have discussed this points also. We'll see how to answer it. With reference to solar water pumps, consider the following statements. Solar power can be used for running surface pumps and not for submersible pumps. Solar pumps power can be for running centrifugal pumps, not the ones with piston. Which of the following options are correct? This is a tough question. Because you, at least you have to go through these things, you get an idea. But what you can do is, answer is D. Both of the statements are wrong. We'll see. What? It's a tough question. Answer is D. No elimination, nothing. It's a tough question. So D is the answer. We'll see what is it. What is solar pump? Solar powered pumps run on electricity 
generated by photovoltaic panels. Okay. Our thermal energy collected from sunlight opposed to a grid electricity or diesel pump. Solar pumps are used for water grid electricity, which is unavailable on alternate source. A faultic solar world pump system has three parts that is solar panels, the controller, and pump. And also, there are two types of pumps in general that is, centrifugal pumps. Centrifugal pumps use piston to transfer water. Mainly, two types of solar pumps are there. Two types of solar pumps done types of whole solar pumps what is it centrifugal pump one is centrifugal pump so what is centrifugal pump centrifugal pump uses piston to transfer water the piston transfer water whereas the other one is positive displacement this is a piston to transfer water the positive displacement also use piston to transfer water so this is it move to the next uh, thing with reference to current trends in cultivation of sugarcane in india consider the following statements a substantial saving in material is needed but cheap settling are raised in the wheat and water when direct plants or seeds are done, germination percentage is better with budded seeds as compared with many. If uh, bad weather conditions prevail, seeds are directly planted, settles have better soil as compared to large seeds. So it can be cultivated using settling prepared from tissue culture. The question. How to answer it? How to answer it? Since many is the so it's a general statement, you can avoid it. When many is avoided, you can avoid option A and option D. Then also option option C is the so how to answer it it's a tough even though it is a direct question it's a tough once discussed in your journal a substantial saving in, in seed material is made when budding chips are raised in nursery and transplanted to the main plant this is obviously true and this is also true so answer is C, one and four. So this is, we are eliminating it. We can't eliminate. We can't eliminate it. Okay, you have to go for B or C. And I opted C, and the answer is C. So sometimes you know you have to choose it. Some options you have to choose it. C. There is a possibility of three and E and C. 50 50 chance you can go for C because answer is C. The tough question uh, there is no elimination or something works out here, but a direct thing. Done now, we'll see it. What is sugar cane? Sugar cane is a carry crop. Cane is cultivated as a carry crop and it is temperature uh, to grow sugar cane is 21 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius, 75 to 150 Celsius. Irrigation is needed for areas with rain, rainfall. And these are the two methods what we are using in our country, mainly in country budding and tissue culture in sugar cane. Something you don't want much explanation, but clip settling are raised in nursery and transplanted in the main thing. So, this is a technique. 
method for cultivation. Fine, much explanation is not needed. This is a direct link. We'll go to the next question. In the context, in the context of India, which of the following is considered to be practices of eco-friendly agriculture, crop diversification, legume transfer, tends to normal use, vertical farming, all the, the things. All the four are the answer. Answer is it's all a direct question you get a previous from the previous uh, UPSC question paper. So what is crop diversification is all about? See, what is it? Legume intensification. Crop diversification means refer to a additional new crops or cropping systems to agriculture production. So like into method where you are using an irrigation method being used. Uh, diverse crops are being cultivated at a single thing, single land through the what cost it is something a cost efficient method and you get more corn this is it tense normal is also an irrigation method which is used to the availability of soil moisture condition and using irrigation method. vertical farming vertical farming means get a, get a building like this from a home or a land where artificial setup has been considered and this is being done. This is an eco-friendly farming where crops of vertical stacks in a door in a controlled environment. You will be using water to it. That vertical farming and what about Legume intensification. This is a technique or something which you can use. Here, farmers will be concentrating farmers are concentrating on resources and expand energy on a small piece of land and thereby reducing labor deemed by selling. So, this is like uh, they will be selecting a few persons or a few land for uh, Abundance or resources are being done and it's expanded a small piece of land. It will be a small piece of land will be taken where you are using uh, farmers using methods to expand it. So like you mean go to the next thing, the reference to chemical fertilizers in India, consider the following state. Previous year question. Yes, here you get an idea from the previous year question paper. What is the answer? At present, retail price of chemical fertilizers in market is driven and not at by the government. Ammonia, which is an input of urea, is produced from natural gas. Sulfur, which is a raw material, phosphoric acid, is a byproduct of oil refinery. Which of the options are correct? Option B, option B, 2 and 3. Totally, option B, 1, 2 and 3. Try to message me, try to answer it. What is the answer? The answer is first statement is wrong. Government is controlled. The retail prices administrated by the government of India. Second statement is true and the third statement is also true. So answer is India everything is monitored and regulated by government. So obviously since the first statement is real, wrong, or you can eliminate 1, A and D. Simple uh, logic funda and get answers B, 2 and 3. Yes, 2 only. So no, B is the answer. Ammonia is an input of urea, it is produced from natural gas. Sulfur which is raw material for phosphic acid, byproduct of oil refinery. Chemical fertilizers in India was a previous year question. Means previous year there were questions related to it. This year also they repeated it. So this mean chemical fertilizers of see to it.
come which 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 is uh, which under which it is coming ministry of fertilizers okay now direct question but know the content then we can answer it. there is no elimination and third possibly up but you will confuse and where is this question comes from this is que the question has been arised from here in the review of so i 2000 question from was from the question was from a direct question from the ministry website so there was two schemes like nutrient policy and what policy new urea policy of 2015 what was the question question was from 2019 government of india review if the following factors are possible affecting the price of rice in india in environment support price government ready government stock piling consumer subsidies responsible for hike of price past year what is the answer answer is D. everything is reason like falling of minimum, uh, support price government's trading policies stock piling and consumer subsidy all are affecting the price of rice in india so answer is D. one two and for you think much direct question a direct answer with reference to elephants in india this was a probable question we discussed it in the expected question Uh, i i'm i'm repeating it i never discussed agriculture part i was discussing see i added agriculture part to to discuss with you that's what with reference to indian elephants the leader of an elephant group is a female maximum gestation period can be 22 months a uh, elephant can normally go to calving till the age of 40 years only among the states yeah the highest elephant population in kerala which is the correct answer since we discussed it the option is what about the first statement yes the leader of an elephant group is a female not a male the first option is correct the second right or wrong what is the gestation is 24 or 22 months what is the answer is the leader of a elephant group is a female or a male what is the gestation period of a elephant try to answer it we'll discuss it what is the answer is it d or a try to answer it now take time and think 